As Morris entered the cave, he had no choice but to crawl on his stomach as the tunnel was extremely tight. Claustrophobia gripped him as the cave became super narrow and dark, but Morris was convinced that ahead was an opening to explore. As he kept crawling, he felt the pressure on his legs and hips as the tunnel became more narrow the further he crawled. This is where Morris made a huge mistake. He didn't realize he was about to crawl upside down due to the darkness of the cave. As he pushed himself forward over and over again, he was in an unmovable position practically upside down after he had slipped forward down this section. Morris realized his friends were somewhere else and that he was alone in the darkness. He couldn't budge. Unable to move, he called his two friends and yelled for help. This took some time for his friends to hear him as he was in the depths of the cave. At this point, his friends was panicking and raced to get professional help. A teacher eagerly crawled towards John to try to help him out of the position he got himself stuck in. The teacher tried to use his belt to wrap around Morris's ankle and attempted to pull him out. It seemed to be working until the belt quickly snapped and broke and Morris wedged deeper into the cave's depths. At this point, Morris had difficulty breathing due to the pressure on his chest. In the cold and darkness, Morris begged his teacher to get someone else to save him. The teacher called for professional help immediately. Firefighters arrived and they decided to use a pulley system with hooks, but with limited visibility, and Morris being trapped some distance away from the entrance. This didn't work. Ideas of a drill and dynamite were proposed, but geologists feared that the cave would collapse. The cave rescue went on throughout the night with temperatures reaching 30 degrees Fahrenheit. A nurse was sent in to comfort Morris and was there for over three hours, while rescuers came up with a new idea to get him out. An experienced cave climber suggested using wheels for the pulley system instead of hooks. Rescuers pulled a tug, but Morris moved only a few inches, just to go back to where he started once the pulley system had been released. At this point, it had been over 24 hours with the rescuers fearing of Morris's consciousness. In the morning, U.S. Air Force flew a team out to help. A specialist called Michael entered the cave, and once he got to Morris, he threw the rope to the trapped boy to put it around his body, which was a struggle. Michael poured a glistening solution all around Morris's hips to make it slippery, and pushed a thin support board underneath his legs. The team started pulling, and Morris moved a few inches. Pulling more and more, he slowly moved out of the tight squeeze. Everyone cheered as Morris came out of the cave, and paramedics were waiting to look at Morris's health. 